The Election Commission couldn't count all the votes last night simply because they couldn't find all the devices with the results on them. For some, this is raising questions about whether the election was fair. Last night, what you saw and what was gathered was, was not an official accounting of the election. The Hines County Election Commission couldn't count all the votes after the polls closed in Tuesday's special election because several memory sticks like these with results on them were missing. Because all of the material that we need to count the votes were in and they are in and in different places. Right now you're looking at Election Commission Chair Jamal Clark. He's searching through those blue bags and looking for a small memory stick for Precinct 56. It would have all the voting results for the fire station at the Jackson Zoo. The main thing you want to have is a fair and transparent election. And we can truly say that that was, that on the surface, it doesn't appear that happened. State Senator Sally Norwood is a campaign operative for Leon Seals, who came in third in the race for sheriff. Came in third, and we look at the vote count. Yes, we have, uh, whether we can overcome that or not, it's not, you know, it's not, uh, we don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say we can't. Seals is said to be considering whether to file a lawsuit because of so many questions about what happened before, during, and after the election. It helps to validate the fact that a lot of people are saying that, you know, the elections are rigged. And, you know, you don't want, you don't want, nobody want to walk away thinking that. No, it was not rigged, I assure you. It might not be the outcome that some people anticipate or want it. But there was nothing that we did that changed the outcome. Now, we should say that the election commissioners were successful when they were able to locate those missing memory sticks. And all the votes have now been counted. There was an additional 300 plus votes. Of course, it didn't change the outcome of either the sheriff's race or the battle for that District 5 constable seat. Live in downtown Jackson, Ross Adams, 16. WAPT News.